Welcome, 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 welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. We're going to get into the big one. It's big fight weekend. Tyson Fury, Alexander Usyk for all the marbles, all the belts, undisputed lineal world heavyweight championship. But before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight, showing you how to bring down the house and consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. You can also find it below right there. Uh, hit another uh, lock last week. We're hitting the locks every single week now. We're hitting locks every single week. Uh, we hit our lock of the week. Uh, make money. It's just $5 a month, so it makes you way more than it'll ever cost you. Uh, it doesn't matter how little you bet, really. I mean, we're making money on these locks. Last week's lock was was easy money. This week's will be easy money. They're all easy money. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Also, uh, let's follow my other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Now, Tyson Fury, uh, I feel if this fight would have been prior to the Nganu fight, Fury would have been a prohibitive favorite. Now, everyone saw what Fury did. He struggled. He got dropped. He had issues. Uh, then he got Nganu got blown out by Anthony Joshua. And I think the momentum has shifted on Fury. I was going to pick Usyk to win regardless. If you guys have followed me for any amount of time, I've been saying this for years that Usyk will run the heavyweight division. And I find that this is going to be interesting. This is going to be a really, really interesting fight. Fury is on the decline. And it shouldn't be shocking to people, right? He's 35 He's not a guy that's taking care of his body. He's not. A, I, I understand that he's a year or two. I think Usyk's 37. So he's a guy that's a little younger. But he's not a guy that's taking care of his body, his diet. The guy drinks diet coke all day. He's done cocaine. He drinks all the time. He's been. He's overweight. He's been very overweight at times. He's just not a guy that takes care of himself. He's not a guy that's going to have a very long prime. He's not going to, you know, like Floyd Mayweather never really got more than a few pounds off his fight weight. Manny Pacquiao, always in shape. You know, these guys that are always in shape, they have staying power because they don't abuse their body. Tyson Fury obviously is not that, so he's not going to have a, a real long prime compared to other world-class <coughs> fighters. Usyk obviously is in impeccable shape. But we all know Tyson Fury. We all know both these fighters. We know their strengths. We know what they do. He's Fury's not as quick as he used to be, although for a guy his size, he's still a freak. The way he uses his speed, his rhythm from the outside, his jab, it's rhythmic, it's quick, it's it's fast and, and fluid for a guy that's, you know, 270 pounds, 200. And, what do you weigh for the Ngannou fight? 277? And he usually, you know, I think that's what he weighed for the second ball fight. So a guy that's going to be anywhere from 260 to 277, he, he's a freak. He's 6'8", 6'9", 277. Really good power. I think his power is really underrated, but it's his skills, it's his movement, it's his motion. He still has good head movement, but he gets lazy. And he's a guy that can be hit, right? He's been dropped by Ngannou. He's been dropped by Wilder four times. He got dropped by Steve Cunningham, a cruiserweight. Okay, guys, remember this. When they say that Cunning, uh, Usyk can't stop him, Usyk could stop him. He, Fury got... Dropped badly by Steve Cunningham. And I know it was years ago. And in a way, Fury's better. But he's also better than Fury is, is more developed now. He's a better craftsman. But he was a better athlete when he when he got dropped by Cunningham. He wasn't. And then also, we forget that Fury almost got stopped by Otto Balin too. Fury, for a good defensive fighter, for a good defensive heavyweight, gets hit an awful lot. <coughs> Fury's one of those guys, he can fight coming forward, he can walk you back. He obviously can fight off the back foot, that's his most notable strength, is his ability to jab, throw the right hand off the back foot, he'll throw the hook. He does a lot of really good things. On the inside, he's got really nice uppercut. So, he's a really, he's a, I'll say this about both fighters. A lot of times with heavyweights, AJ, Wilder, a lot of guys, we say they're good heavyweights. Fury and Usyk are good fighters who happen to be heavyweights. There's a big difference, right? He uses his jab really, really well. He's got a nice, hard jab. 
He smothers his work a little bit. That, that's the one thing. Like, I, I don't think Us, uh, I don't think Fury is a great finisher. I think he smothers his work a lot. He's flawed. For for being such a good fighter, he still is very flawed. Gets caught a lot. I, I can't see him really putting together rounds, rounds, rounds with Fury. His volume has dropped. But he can use his size. And he can weigh you down. And that's what he did to Wilder. Wilder's going to weigh about, I would imagine, a similar, he's going to weigh similar to what Usyk will weigh in that fight. You know, 220 in that range. I, I don't know what he's going to come in at, but you don't really want Usyk to bulk up. You don't want him to lose that dexterity, that mobility, that agility, that, that volume, right? Because it's just going into this fight. I, Usyk can win. If he doesn't get caught, he can win this fight on volume. Fury doesn't throw that much. He doubles up the jab, but he's 277 pounds, 270 pounds. He's not going to throw a ton. You know, and we've seen Usyk transform his body for different fights. I, I don't know how he looks like. The, the pictures I've seen, he looks like he's going to be leaner in this fight. We'll see how that goes. But really, Usyk's the better fighter. And, and I don't think Fury's ever been in the ring with a guy who's a better fighter than him. So this is going to be the first time. So what does he do? He's got to get in on him. He's got to wear him down. He's got to break him down. He's got to try to stop him late. Because he's not going to win enough rounds. The one thing I would say about Usyk is he, he's, he has a tendency at times to start slow. I think he needs to pick up the pace. Start fast. Don't, if, if he doesn't give away the first couple rounds. If he's up two to one after three, he wins the fight going away. If he can get Fury fighting from behind, Fury's not going to win this fight because now Fury needs to start winning rounds. He can't win rounds, right? He is throwing off Usyk's angles are too good. His combination, he's Usyk is such a good combination puncher. He mixes up his tempo. He mixes up his cadences. He does everything so well. He, he mixes up levels, head, body, head, body. He throws the left hand, you know, Throws it hard sometimes. All the times he puts it in there just to score with it. He keeps you off guard. He keeps you uncomfortable. As a ring general, he's the best I've ever seen in the heavyweight division. It's so hard to win rounds with this guy in the heavyweight division. You you have to be able to keep him at bay and jab him. I get you guys are going to disagree with this. AJ has a better jab than Fury does. Fury's looks cool. He flips it out there. He flips it out there. But AJ's is a shotgun that keeps you at bay. If AJ could not consistently keep Usyk off of him, there's no way Fury can do it. And then once Usyk gets in on you, you're going to lose, right? And I agree that Fury's actually better on the inside than AJ is. But still, you're not going to be able to win rounds if you can't keep the shorter Usyk off of you, if he gets in and he throws his combination, he gets in, he's throwing the left, the the, the, uh, the straight left, the straight left. He's mixing up his shots. He's just gonna pe- put rounds in the bank. The only thing is, does he start slow and lose a bunch of rounds? Because I see this fight going the distance. I, I think this fight goes the distance. And can can Fury? Steal enough rounds early that later he doesn't need to win that many rounds to, to make it a 6-6-7-5 six, six, fight, right? So he's got to get off to a good start. The problem is Usyk is extremely hard to hit, especially hit flush, right? As we pointed out, Fury is it, right? So the combination, punching, check, Usyk. Speed, check, Usyk, right? The volume, check, Usyk. There's so many paths to victory for Usyk. Fury's got to knock him out. I'm not saying that he can't because Fury's a big hitter, right? And this is what Freddie Roach said when in the first Wilder fight. He said, go in there and step on the gas and try to knock him out. He can hit. And Davidson was like, no, no, no. We want to uh, stay away from his power. Okay, that's a difference in philosophy. I'm not going to get into that. But the point is, Freddie Roach thought that for sure. Usyk, uh, Fury had the power to knock out Wilder. I agree. I think his power is pretty good. I mean, he's not Wilder, right? He's not, I'm not saying he's that, but he's got enough power that he can knock out Usyk. I think that's when he's got to wear him down. He's got to use his body. On the inside, he's got to lean on him. He's really got to wear him down. That's kind of his path to victory. I think he's got to stop him. Get multiple knockdowns. 
I don't think he can just win seven rounds in this fight and and and, and outpoint him, get a decision. I don't think that's going to happen. And it's the first time in his life that he's going to be up against that. So let's take a look at how to make money on this fight. Here's what I got. The odds. Tyson Fury is minus 120. Usyk is plus 100, which means he's even money. So I like Usyk at even money. I like... Total rounds, minus 320. So, do our normal, whatever your one times bet is, 100 bucks on each one. Usyk and Fury, both 10 and a half, uh, both 100. We like the over 100, and we like Usyk uh, plus 100. So, that $200 bet is going to make us 131.25. It also, like, I think there are two ways this fight can end. I think it can end Usyk by points, Fury by late knockout. Those are the two possibilities that I see happening. I think it's much more likely Usyk wins by decision. That's the case. You hit on both of these. If not, the other possible outcome is Fury by late stoppage. You're also preserved to that, right? You get the second half of the 11th or the 12th round, which I think is an outside shot. Like, I would say, where am I? 80% Usyk wins, 20% chance Fury gets a late stoppage. And this is going to help hedge that. Um, or maybe there's a completely bogus decision and they end in a draw and you've hedged yourself a little bit. But this is the bet to make. I really like this. Usyk, even money. Love that. Fury, uh, I mean, and then over 10 and a half, $131 on a $200 bet. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. But let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, it is May 13th, 20th. Oh, also join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Five dollars a month. You get the lock of the week. This week, we hit it at last week. I think we, we hit it, I don't know, three, four weeks in a row. Now, we hit it every week. You guys are making a ton of money. When we don't hit it, it's like it, it's something earth-shattering, like Devin Haney loses. It's the last time we didn't hit it was when Haney lost. But we got new money back every single week and some. I got one client uh, who's up $200,000 this year. Now he bets about $25,000 a week, but he's up $200,000 this year with me. This is what we do. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Bookie on all forms of social media. It is May 13th, 2024 from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.